All right. So from there, let's go to uh, what I want. Numbers 32 and verse 10. 32 and 10. All right. You got to remember, Moses, he didn't see that land. So the torch had to be passed. The book of Numbers, chapter 32, verse 10. And the Lord, ain't, and the Lord anger was kind, kindled the same time. And he swore, saying, Surely none of the men that came up out of Egypt from 20 years old and upwards shall see the land which I swear unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and to Jacob, because they have not wholly followed me. Verse 12. Because they didn't want to listen to what Moses said, basically. You had groups of Israel that had to be put to death. Why? Because they were rebellious. That's our people today. All right. A lot of people going to be left back here in the land of America because we're rebellious. And they, we're not go, they're not going to be dwelling here. They're going to be put to death. All right. But keep reading. Verse 12. And Caleb, the son of the Jah Jah Jahanna and the, and the Kizite, mm -hmm. and the Joshua, the son of Nun, for they have wholly followed the Lord. So they followed the Lord. They followed the Most High. They listened and followed Moses. All right. They followed the commandments that Moses got from God to give the children of Israel. Holy. All right. Their whole mind, their whole heart, they followed the Most High. But those other ones, those other wicked, rebellious Israelites, they had to be put to death. Read 13. Verse 13. Mm -hmm. And the Lord's anger was kindled against Israel, mm -hmm. and he made them wander, wander, in the, wander in the wilderness. 40 years until all the generation that had done evil in the sight of the Lord was consumed. See that? So he had them wander in the wilderness for what? 40 years. All right. Why? Because you had wicked and evil Israelites among us. All right. They had to perish. Okay. So showing you the, the steps, that journey. Let's go to Deuteronomy 34 and 7. This is a journey we're going on. All right. We're just continuing that journey. All right. You got it? Yes, sir. You read it. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 34, verse 7. Mm -hmm. And Moses was 120 years old when he died. Mm -hmm. His eyes was not dim, mm -hmm. nor his natural force abate. Right. So he didn't, uh, as our other forefather, uh, he was, wasn't blind and he wasn't, you know, lame or, you know, he still had his, his, his strength. I guess you could say that much. Keep reading. Verse eight. Mm -hmm. And the children of Israel wept for Moses mm -hmm. in the plains of Moab 30 days. So the days of weeping and mourning for Moses were ended. See that? So they were on their journey. And in that journey, there was where? In the land of Moab. Okay. So, it's showing you that Moses died. So Joshua and Caleb had to take over and continue the journey to go and take the land, the promised land that the father gave to the children of Israel. Read verse 9. Verse 9. And Joshua, the son of Nun, was filled out of the spirit of wisdom. For Moses had laid his hands upon him, and the children of Israel hearkened unto him. And did as the Lord commanded Moses. All right. So he passed the torch to who? To uh, Joshua. All right. Read. So now go to uh, what I want. Joshua 1. Joshua chapter 1. So as you see, we're going on this journey. As you see, the torch is continuing to pass. All right. From generation to generation, the torch is going on so we can re receive that land. All right. Um, read that. The book of Joshua. Chapter 1, verse 1. Now, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun. And Moses ministered, saying, verse 2, Moses, my servant, is dead. 
Now, therefore, arise, go over this, this Jordan, thou and, thy, th and all this people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Right. So we're continuing on that journey from, from captivity in, in uh, Egypt to what? To the land that he told us that flow with milk and honey, the land of Canaan, which is Israel. All right. Now jump down to verse 16. So the torch was passed so he can continue on the journey. All right. Uh, go, ahead. go ahead. The book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 16. Mm -hmm. And they answered Joshua, saying, All that thy commanded us, we will do. Mm -hmm. And whether wheresoever thou send us, sendest us, we will go, according as we hearken unto Moses. So he's telling them, well, they're telling him, just as we we, you, we follow Moses, we're going to follow you as well, Joshua. Okay, go ahead. Moses, according as we hearken unto Moses in all things, so we will hearken unto thee. Mm -hmm. Only the Lord thy God be with thee mm -hmm. as he was with Moses. Right. So they say, I'm going to follow you as yeah, basically as you follow Christ. All right, go ahead. Verse 18, mm -hmm. whosoever he be that do, do it rebel against the commandments. So it's, he, he had to reiterate what Moses said. Throughout this whole Bible, the, the, the prophet's going to continue to reiterate what God said. You keep the commandments, you go live. You, you break them, you go be put to death. All right, go ahead. Whosoever be that doest rebel against the commandments mm -hmm. and will not hearken unto thy words in in uh, in all that thy commandest him he shall be put to death mm -hmm. only be strong and of a good courage so that mean what he wants you to listen okay so from there let's go to so i'm showing you the process in which we were going from uh, uh, egypt to the land of canaan and throughout all this, we did, because it's a lot to go through, did take over the land of Canaan and possess the land. And the land was was uh, divided amongst the children of Israel. All right. And another misconception that we have and understand today is that about the Suez Canal. All right. Which is was pretty much manufactured or built in uh, November 17th. 1869 all right and this is something that of course is nowhere in the bible because all this land mass was one land mass all right and there's another misconception that esau has put out there to keep us from the truth okay and the true understanding of who we are so we can put two and two together all right so we can understand that these land was together and that was us back in egypt as well all right couple examples I'm going to go to is Matthew 2 and 13, showing you another flowing of our forefathers that was in our land to Egypt. All right. And this is Christ. Let's read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 2, verse 13. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise. And take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt and and be thou there until I bring the word for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. All right. So this is giving you another example of our forefather, Joseph and Mary taking Christ and fleeing into Egypt. Why? Because Herod was trying to what kill christ to stop the prophecy all right he, he wasn't gonna do it but that's what he tried to do all right it didn't it didn't happen all right it, it wasn't fulfilled let's get one more example let's go to luke 21 in verse 20 all right luke 21 and 20 and just understand i stopped at uh joshua and caleb and we got the land but then after we got the land what happened captivity because we start breaking the commandments worshiping other gods and the land was given to our enemies we're going to read that 
because we broke the commandments. Remember, that was the stipulation between us and the land. All right. And that same land mass, Canaan, which is Israel, or Israel, which is Canaan, however you want to say it, is the land mass of Africa, which is biblically the name land of Ham. All right. So let's read that in Luke. The book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 20. Mm hmm. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compass with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. So what is Christ talking about? Because he gave us the example through his mother and father, through the spirit of the angel that told him in a dream to go take Christ to Africa, to Egypt, which is in Africa. Right. So they did the traveling down to Africa. All right. And he's telling us to what? Get out of the land. Because the desolation thereof is not, I mean, it's near. Meaning the destruction of what? Uh, J uh, Jerusalem is not. Okay? Why? Because Titus and Vespasius is coming in to what? Take over. All right? To destroy. It, all right? To possess it. All right? Keep reading. Verse 21. Mm -hmm. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. The mountains is Egypt. The mountains is Africa deeper into Africa, all right? They didn't stop in Egypt. They, they went further down, all right? Keep going. That's why you have uh, uh, Fort Judah. You have a lot of different, uh, what's the other one? Uh, a lot of different land masks in which were named after us on different maps uh, in history, all right? I'm breaking it up, but in history, okay? Keep reading. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. Mm -hmm. And let not them that are in the, in the countries enter there into. Right. So he's telling us, if you're in Jerusalem, get out. If you're in the uh, outskirts countries, don't go in now. Okay. Why? Because Jerusalem is being taken over. All right. Keep reading. Verse 22. Mm -hmm. For these be the days of... Of, of the vengeance. Read it again. For these be the days of vengeance. These are the days of vengeance. All right. Most I had to put a, another belt on us because we were rebellious. Keep going. That all things which are written may be fulfilled. All these things that's in this Bible must be fulfilled. And then the end will come. Then we'll get rulership again. Keep going. Verse 23, mm -hmm. but woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days. Mm -hmm. For for there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon this people. That's why Christ was warning us, get out the land because it's going to be a famine in the land. All right. You won't have food, water. You're going to start eating your babies, so on and so forth. Why? Because you don't want to listen. I'm telling you, do what? My father did, all right, and flee from the persecution. Keep reading. Verse 24, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword and, and shall be led away captives into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So Christ told us, if you don't listen to the instructions I'm giving you to flee out of Egypt into where, I mean, flee out of Israel, our land, Canaan, to where? Egypt, deeper into Africa, then what? And they shall be, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword, meaning you're going to die. All right? It says, and shall be led away captive unto all nations. That's what happened to us in history. All right? Because we didn't listen. We rebelled, and we were led away captive. All right? When you read further on in the, in the scriptures, we were captive under all nations, all right? It said it's in a time when the Gentiles be fulfilled, all right? And that time is coming, all right? But from there, let's go to uh, Joel chapter 3. Joel 3. So just touching on the land of Canaan again, the people that are in, in the land of Canaan, which is Israel today, are not the people of the book. All right. Or not the Israelites. All right. We have now we have strangers in our land. All right. Read that. One. Yes, sir. 
the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 1. Mm -hmm. For behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah mm -hmm. and Jerusalem, mm -hmm. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down in the valley of Jehoshaphat mm -hmm. and will plead with them there for my people mm -hmm. and for my heritage, mm -hmm. Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. You see that? We just read that. When they took over that land, they parted it. All right? But the Most High is telling you through the prophet Joel that we are going to do what? He go gather us. He go put us back in our land. And we say plead, he's not saying I'm for the beg for the land back. Meaning destruction, death. All right? To those that don't freely want to give it up. All right? So from there, let's go to... Um, what I want. Uh, no, keep reading, keep reading. Or well, you could jump down to, well, just read through, read through. Verse 3. Mm -hmm. And they have cast lots for my people mm -hmm. and, give, and given a boy for an harlot mm -hmm. and sold a girl for wine mm -hmm. that they might drink. Mm -hmm. It's called captivity. Go ahead. Yeah. And what have ye to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon mm -hmm. and all the coasts of Palestine? That's the land of Israel. On the land of Canaan, all right. Today, go ahead. Will you will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, I will return and recompense upon your own head. Most our basis saying you can't pay me back. I'm gonna pay you back for all the things that you've done to my children. Go ahead. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold. And carry into your temple my goodly, pleasant things. So they stole everything. As we know in, in history, as we read in uh, Luke 21, Titus and Vespasius ransacked Israel. They stole the, the jewels. They stole our, everything, our records. They have everything. All right? But all those things will come back to us. All right? But we got to hold on. Go ahead. Verse 6. The children also of Judah. And the children of it of Jerusalem have ye sold to the Grecian mm -hmm. that that ye might remove them far from their borders. Right, this happened. They removed us far from my borders. Okay. So from there, let's go to Ezekiel thirty six and five. Ezekiel thirty six and five. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 36, verse 5. Uh -huh. Therefore said, thus said the Lord God, Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spake, spoken against the residue of the heathen. So the Most High is pissed off and jealous and angry and vengeful against all these nations for all the evil that they've done against his children. All right. Go ahead. And against all Idumia. Idumia is a Greek word for what? Edom. Go ahead. Which have a, appointed my land into their possession. When did they do that? Many times, but I'm going to speak of the last time, Titus and Vespasius. All right. In that time, into today, they are where? In our land, the land of uh, Canaan, which is Israel which is the land of Africa, all right, which is the land of Ham. Go ahead. With the joy of all their heart, mm -hmm. with the despiteful minds, mm -hmm. to cast it out for a prey. All right, it said with the joy of all their hearts because they are prideful people, all right? And you understand through the generations how the spirit in this, this nation have not changed, all right? So with that, Israel, I pray that y'all got some understanding to understand that Israel, which is also known as in the scriptures, the land of Canaan, was all a part of the land of Africa, the continent of Africa. All right. Before they came and made in uh, 1869 the Suez Canal. All right. So, Israel, uh, that's another 15 minutes with the captains. I'm Captain Naomi. I'm Officer Boaz. We say Shalom, Mosai Christ bless. Shalom, Mosai Christ bless.